Hello whiskey lovers. Do you know how much water you should add to your whiskey to make it taste better? Well, science has the answer for you. And it might surprise you. In this video, we're going to explore. Number 1 How water affects the chemistry of whiskey. Number 2 How much water you should add to your whiskey. Number 3 Why different types of whiskey in glasses matter. Number 4 How to find your own sweet spot for enjoying whiskey. Welcome to Q7 Explorers channel, where we explore the science and art of enjoying whiskey. It will help you discover new and interesting things about whiskey. Let's dive into these questions. Question number one. So, how does water affect the chemistry of whiskey? Well, let me ask you this. What is whiskey made of? Whiskey is made from fermented grains, such as barley, rye, or corn. The fermentation process converts the sugars and the grains into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The alcohol is then distilled to increase its concentration and purity. The distilled alcohol is then aged in wooden barrels, usually made from oak for several years. The aging process gives whiskey its distinctive color, flavor, and aroma. Whiskey contains thousands of different compounds that contribute to its flavor and aroma. Some of these compounds are more volatile than others, meaning that they evaporate easily and reach our nose and mouth when we drink whiskey. These volatile compounds include alcohols, esters, aldehydes, ketones, phenols, and terpenes. One of the most important flavor compounds in whiskey is guayacol. Guayacol is a phenol that gives whiskey its smoky and spicy notes. Guayacol comes from the charred oak barrels that are used to age whiskey. Guayacol is also found in other foods and drinks, such as coffee, wine, and smoked meat. Guayacol is more soluble in alcohol than in water. This means that it dissolves better in alcohol than in water. Whiskey contains both alcohol and water molecules. The alcohol molecules have one end that is attracted to water, hydrophilic, and another end that is repelled by water, hydrophobic. The water molecules are polar, meaning that they have a positive and a negative side. When whiskey is bottled, it usually has an alcohol concentration of about 40% to 45%. At this concentration, the alcohol molecules form clusters with each other in the liquid. The hydrophobic ends of the alcohol molecules face inward, away from the water molecules. The hydrophilic ends of the alcohol molecules face outward, towards the water molecules. The guayacol molecules are attracted to the alcohol clusters more than the water molecules. This means that they tend to stay inside the alcohol clusters, away from the surface of the liquid. However, when we add water to whiskey, we change the concentration of alcohol in the liquid. This affects how the alcohol molecules arrange themselves in the liquid. As we add more water, some of the alcohol clusters break up and move to the surface of the liquid. This creates more space for the guayacol molecules to escape from the alcohol clusters and move to the surface as well. The surface of the liquid is where we perceive most of the flavor and aroma of whiskey. When we drink whiskey, we expose our tongue and nose to the surface of the liquid. The more guayacol molecules there are at the surface, the more we can taste and smell them. So adding water to whiskey can increase the amount of guayacol at the surface of the liquid, which can enhance its flavor and aroma. Question number two. But, how much water should we add? Is there an optimal amount of water that maximizes the amount of guayacol at the surface? According to a study published in 2017 in Scientific Reports, there is no definitive answer to this question. The optimal amount of water depends on several factors, such as the type of whiskey, the initial concentration of alcohol, the personal preference of the drinker, the shape and size of the glass, the study used computer simulations to model how guayacol behaves in different concentrations of alcohol and water. They found that adding a small amount of water, about 10% to 20%, can increase the amount of guayacol at the surface by about 30%. However, adding too much water, more than 50%, can decrease the amount of guayacol at the surface by about 20%. 
Question number three. Why different types of whiskey and glasses matter? The study also found that different types of whiskey have different amounts of guayacol and other flavor compounds. For example, Scotch whiskey tends to have more guayacol than bourbon or Irish whiskey. This means that Scotch whiskey might benefit more from adding water than other types of whiskey. The study did not consider the effect of the shape and size of the glass on the amount of guayacol at the surface. However, other studies have shown that the shape and size of the glass can influence how we perceive the flavor and aroma of whiskey. For example, a tulip-shaped glass can concentrate the aroma of whiskey better than a tumbler or a shot glass. So, to summarize, adding water to whiskey can enhance its flavor and aroma. By increasing the amount of guayacol and other volatile compounds at the surface of the liquid. However, the optimal amount of water depends on the type of whiskey, the initial concentration of alcohol, the personal preference of the drinker, and the shape and size of the glass. Question number four. How to find your own sweet spot for enjoying whiskey? The best way to find out how much water you like in your whiskey is to experiment with different amounts and see how it affects your experience. You can start by adding a few drops of water to your whiskey and then gradually increase the amount until you find your sweet spot. You can also pour yourself dram of scotch whiskey and try to find your sweet spot for adding water. You can start with a few drops of water and then gradually increase or decrease the amount until you find the perfect balance for you. You might also find your sweet spot for this whiskey. You might add about 15% water to your whiskey, which brings down the alcohol concentration to about 37%. This might be where you get the best of both worlds. A complex and intense aroma, a smooth and balanced taste, and a satisfying finish. This might be why you like adding water to your whiskey. It allows you to customize your experience according to your mood, preference, and occasion. It also helps you discover new flavors and aromas that you might not notice otherwise. I hope you enjoy this video and learn something new and interesting about whiskey and water. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more whiskey-related content. And don't forget to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. What is your favorite type of whiskey? How much water do you like to add to your whiskey? How do you find your sweet spot for adding water to your whiskey? Let us know in the comments. Cheers! See you on next video.